Hi, my name's Susan, Susan Ogden from H2O for Living Well. Change your water, change your life. The following demonstration is showing the benefits of drinking Kangen water, but also the benefits of using Kangen water for other uses in your home. It's a very practical demonstration, uh, very visual. We're having a little bit of fun. There's lots of information to take in. Please enjoy. So what we're going to do today is show how the properties of Kangen water meet those three criteria. So first of all, it's an antioxidisation, so I've got a demo with that one. Alkalinization, which is making it more alkaline, and microclustering, which is about making the molecules very, very small that come out of this machine, so it goes into your body and hydrates you far better than anything else. So we're going to deal with those, those three particular things. So Sue's going to start us off because she's going to need to do some prep work and tell you what she's doing on a prep work first. Right, okay. These, we've, we've only just opened these. These are tomatoes I bought today from, um, from Aldi. And one of the waters that we get from this machine is um, a degreasant. And I use it for cleaning my cooker and things like that. But... We all, I also clean all our vegetables with it. So all the vegetables, all the fruit that you'll be eating this evening has been washed in Kangen water. This is Sue's tap water. So I'm just going to put some of these, these tomatoes in here. And we'll, uh, we'll leave them. Oh, they smell lovely fresh tomatoes. Mm. Is that enough, do you think so? Yeah, that should be fine. And we'll do the same with the other one. So we'll just leave those, okay? Could I have some kangen water in there? Yeah, sure. Ordinary kangen water. Yeah. This little demonstration here shows um, that kangen water takes out um, chlorine, chlorine and all the other horrible things that are, are in your tap water. The, these two here have Sue's tap water. I just poured it in from your, your top a, a, a little while ago. And this is um, a chlorine indicator. They use this to test the, um, the water in uh, swimming baths and things like that. So I'm just going to put some of this into Sue's tap water and then into the can of water. So you will see that when it when it turns yellow from on the bottom there, then there is chlorine in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, imagine you've had a really hard day at work and you get home and you think, I'm gonna have a soak in the back, a glass of wine, soak in the back, light my candles. So I went, like hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to imagine that this onion is your skin. So you're lying in your, your bath full of water and this onion, uh, this onion is just like our, our skin. So I'm just going to put it in there. Um, we'll leave it a while and Sue will carry on with the demonstration. Okay, then. so we're going to come back to these. Now, the water that Sue's used um, uh, that came out of here, there are seven levels of water that come out of this machine. There are three levels of drinking water, which is pH, level 8.5, 9, and 9.5. So what you're drinking now is 9.5. It's the highest level of alkaline you can actually drink. And that just comes out of there. But if you wanted it a bit less, we could use uh, any of the other two. All right. But the water that Sue's just put in for the tomatoes is pH 11.5. So it's high alkaline water. And that's why when you wash your fruit and veg, yeah. What do you when you wash your tomatoes? What do you do? It's one of you. Mm -hmm. under the tap. You run it under the tap. Okay. And your fruit and veg, the the pesticides and the herbicides are oil based. Yeah. So it, it so it doesn't penetrate the, the the tomato, which means all you're doing is taking a bit of dust off. Okay. So the eleven point five. That's that's dealing with all of that. We'll see as that goes. The demo that I'm now going to do is going to show the acidity. So as a bottle of. Uh, Seven up there. But the only thing I haven't got, uh, Rachel, is um, some sparkling champagne because I know you're quite 
Hot tub water. 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 Hot tub so does it does it filter it the water? Yeah, it's not for a filter. This is this is tap water from Sue, and then this is Kanga water, eight nine point five. So what we're going to do? Shove that in there. Oh, we're going to do a, a pH test. We're testing the acidity or the alkaline of it, which is the top. And so if we top to the top of the chart, there. see the chart there. So the more acidic it is, the more orangey. The more alkaline it is, the more uh, purple. Okay. The green is neutral. That's that's what tap water should look like. It's not to say it's any good for you, but that's what it should look like. Now you'll notice that these drops are red. So you're going to say to me, well, of course everything's going red because you're putting red drops in. Okay. So, here we've got lemonade and sparkling water. Okay, that's around about, that's around about pH 3. pH 3 is the same thing as battery acid. So, your sparkling waters, your flavoured waters and your lemonades and your wine... That's the equivalent to battery acid. Okay. Would you send your kids off to school with battery acid? <laughs> no. But that's what we do all the time. I mean, that that one is just water. That looks like just just dreadful. Okay. This is a uh, this is a bit better. This is uh, Tesco's uh, Tesco's water, and it's it's bluish. So it's a tinge of a tingy yellow in there, but that's bluish. Let's come back to that one in a minute. This is. Uh, this is the water from your uh, fridge, it's bluish, and this is tap water. Uh, this is tap water, so we're expecting tap water to be green. It's slightly more acidic than a normal green. Than on there, um, so that's your tap water. Now your tap water, actually, I'm going to say now, all we're drinking in tap water is human excrement that's been cleaned off. It's got loads and loads, loads of stuff. No, that yeah, but that's what it is because it goes through the sewer system. It gets cleaned off. It goes back through again. Um, and so because of all the acids they put in to kill all the bacteria, your tap water is very, very acidic. But they don't want it acidic. So what they do is they add, depending on how acidic it is at the treatment, they add a pile of stuff in there called lye, L-Y-E. Depending on how much lye they put in is to, to, to get it back to a neutral state. So um, this is kangen water. And um, this is, this is, as you can see there, it's eight, it's, it's 9.5. That tastes like mints now. It, oh, <laughs> do you know, I wouldn't taste it now. I wouldn't taste it now. And so, as, as you can see. So, do you get the picture as to what we drink might uh, might be useful or not useful? So, an oxidisation is the bit that rots you, yeah? Antioxidants make you younger. Oxidisation rots you. It makes you older. Okay. Gets so what was the gets yeah. you rusty? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a test on oxidisation on these waters. So this is the, uh, the test. And so if you can just shout out and tell me what you three four one. Okay. Okay. Three ninety. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got uh, oh, we've got this sparkling. We've got this water from the the bottle. Tesco's. Tesco's. Going down. Okay. <clears throat> 290. So that's not so bad. That's bad. What's a good reading? Minus. Yeah. I'll say in a minute. Oh, right. So this is this is from your fridge. Filtered fridge. Very stable. Yeah. About yeah. yeah. right there. Okay. This is tap water. How's that doing? 275. Is it going up? 276. Mm -hmm. That's very stable. Yeah. 
Okay. So that plus plus re reading means that they oxidise. And so now we've got what? Minus two four and going down. Two four eight. Mm. Two two one. So kangen water is uh, an antioxidant. Uh, it'll, it might get down to around about minus four hundred. So I'll drink some more. So on the ORP, things that would be minus ORP, there's the kangen water there. Cod liver oil would be there. Okay. Uh, green tea, minus 100. Mm -hmm. um, and vitamin C, around about minus 50. And then everything else, your bottled waters, 200s, 300s, going up to 400 in the scale. The, the next thing I want to talk to about is microclustering. Yeah. So, first of all, the water goes in, and this side of the machine is a very... Is a very shut up. It's a very high level um, filtration system. So that takes out all of the stuff that, that you, you want filtering out. The, you said about chlorines and your fluorides and all of that. Then in this side of the machine, it goes through. This, this machine's got eight um, titanium plates. And the titanium plates electrify the water. This is ionizing the water. So it electrifies it. The titanium plates are medical grade titanium. So the sort of thing you'd have if you had a hip replacement or whatever, yeah, medical grade titanium, covered by medical grade platinum so that the, the titanium's um, encased. What that does is it creates a really good then um, uh, electrical circuit to ionize the water. The water then splits into two. Some of the water comes out of the top pipe for drinking and some of the water comes out the waste pipe, right? Splits the water into two. And because of the ionization, it makes the molecules in the water very, very small. And the purpose of this is to hydrate you better. So a normal molecule would be 15, 16 parts to that molecule when you drink normal water. And this one's five to six. And the reason for this being important is the fact if you drank two pints of ordinary tap water, you'd feel heavy, glugging, really sluggish. Two pints of kangen water, as you'll find as you're drinking it, you don't even notice it. And it goes, because it's small clusters, um, it goes in and hydrates your body faster than anything else. So 75% of normal water, actually 75% just goes out, only 25% goes to where it needs to be to hydrate your system. But for kangen water, 75% hydrates you and 25% disappears off out. The body, just to survive, uses two litres of water a day. So it's half a litre just with breathing. Yeah, Half a litre is with sweating. If you're not doing any exercise, you're just sedentary, half a litre goes just through your sweat glands. And a litre goes um, through your, your cleaning system, so your urine. So if you don't put back in two litres of water, then you're not even managing the, the hydration. You're constantly dehydrated. Before we get to, before we get to this bit, uh, there's another bit. There's a guy called Dr. Shinya. He created the first colonoscopy. And uh, I'm going to pass this around for you to have a look at. But in, the, in the colonoscopy, the colon is, is the central core of your body. If, if that's all ganged up and whatever, then your body's just not performing very well. And uh, so he always insists that people drink kangen water. So that's the before and after. Okay. So I'm going to pass it over to Sue now. Right. Thank you. Right. If you remember, this is you in the bath. Did you notice how I said bath? Then? Bath. Yes. My granddaughter bath. says it's bath, granny, not bath. Yeah. So the onion has absorbed all the chlorine. If I'd have stuck my finger in there, my finger would have absorbed the chlorine. So that's what you do when you're soaking in the bath. You're just soaking up all that chlorine. So Sue and I didn't like that idea. So as well as doing drinking water, Enagic make um, an attachment that you can put onto your shower, which gives you water that has all the chlorine, fluorine, everything taken out. <coughs> Uh, and has added minerals, so it's like having a, a spa. So these tomatoes have been um, been in the in the can of the water. Just give me a bit of a swish about. So 
So these have been in 11.5. So can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Do you want to just pick it up for the people at the back? So those are the two waters. This is the tap water that the uh, tomatoes have been in. This is the 11.5 Kangen water. So I'm going to pass some tomatoes around now. <laughs> it tastes like tomato. It does. That's good. It tastes like tomato. Very nice tomatoes. They taste good, right? Mm. Okay, so these are these are your, your uh, washing ordinary water. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry, I can see your faces. Bitter. <coughs> oh, what a difference. Those are what we eat all the time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now, we said that the the water for the tomatoes was 11.5, mm. and the opposite side to that is 2.5, that's high acid water. So this is bleach without ever buying any chemicals. So this does all our services and our kitchen and our floor, um, cleans the sink, cleans the toilet. I used it to get rid of all my green fly on my roses in the summer, sprayed it on, yeah, no pesticides in the air. The next day, no green fly, and the green fly stayed off the, the roses for the rest of the rest of the year. The roses were fabulous. Mm -hmm. So ants, anything else that you've got an infestation of, rather than putting powders down and chemicals, you just use this with it. Now, if people are suffering from eczema or psoriasis, who would use this as well? Because if somebody's got um, sores, then we spray it with the acid water, we let it air dry, and then we spray it with 6.5, which is beauty water. So this is one of the other waters that comes out. And so this is the beauty water. So we would spray, if somebody got psoriasis, eczema, whatever, sores, spray that first, gets, gets rid of the bacteria, then spray with that, brings it back to 6.5, which is what your body is. So that's what we shower in, is 6.5. Right, the seventh water is what we call clean water. So clean water on there means that it doesn't go through, it goes through the filter, but it doesn't go through the ionizer. And the reason for that is if you're taking slow release medication, you can't have that going in your system too fast. So therefore you take clean water 20 minutes before or 20 minutes after the medication just clean water. The other time we'd use clean water is if it was for formula for babies. Okay. okay. Now, if you were taking uh, the Synergy there, yeah, Synergy, Aloes, um, Juice, Plus. Juice Plus, anything like that, you'd want that to get straight in. Yeah. And so you'd take that with Kangen water because that will go in and work far more effectively than what you're doing with ordinary water. So any of those supplements just go straight in and they will just get to the system and work a lot faster. So a lot of our friends um, have all those supplements and they use the Kangen water. This is a medical piece of kit. Uh, that's why it's got medical grade titanium <coughs> and, and, uh, and platinum in it. Um, it's got a medical certificate. So if we wanted to go on our holidays and we wanted to take this with us so we're having some good water when we go, this can go in the hand luggage and it's actually got a medical certificate to go with it. So that would just pop in your hand luggage. I'd have to leave some things out of my hand luggage, but that would come with me. It's also, this one particular, um, it's got different voltages so you can use it in different countries. 40% of the hospital beds um, in Japan have one of these at the side of the, the patients because they want to heal the patients from the inside and the out. If you're going to put something in a plastic bottle, then put it in a BPA-free bottle. Now, uh, they used to be really, really expensive, but that BPA-free bottle is £1.49 from uh, Home Bargains. Don't ever let the kids go out with ordinary plastic bottles because what happens, the plastic bottles, they start to break down, the chemicals get in, um, all of that stuff and when you buy the bottle of water it will say um, what it was like in terms of its pH at source well you don't know where the source <coughs> was three years ago and you don't know what sort of plastic it's, it's been kept in so the other thing is uh, oral health as well we notice that um, uh, your tongue stays clean there's never any residue on your tongue your teeth your, your, the plaque very rarely comes. Pets love it. The reason why your dogs drink puddles and in drains is the fact that that the when you put water down for them, they can smell 
miles away, the chlorides and the fluorides. If you put down kangen water and tap water down for a dog in, in identical bowls, the, the dogs will always go for the kangen water. So I've been drinking kangen water since December. I went to um, the doctors in March for a diabetic review, type 2 diabetic. Um, I've lost half a stone. He looked at my results. He said, oh, you're down to pre-diabetic. I said, oh, good. I said, does that mean I can come off metformin? Because I hated taking those, those down tablets. Yeah. He, he said, no. I said, so what level does my blood sugar have to be to stop, so I, I can stop taking metformin? He said, below 40. So I said, right, can I come back in six months? So I said, do you not, do you not want to know how I've done this? And he said, yeah, go on. And I said, well, I've been drinking high alkaline water. He said, well, don't tell everybody, otherwise I'll be out of a job. <laughs> and when I went back... My blood sugar was down to 34, so I no longer have to take any, uh, any metformin. That's amazing. Thank you for taking the time to watch the demonstration. I hope you found some useful information there to go away and perhaps think I'd like to find out more. If you would like any more information, or if you would like to try the water, details are to follow, or if you'd like to speak to us in person, please phone 07957 Double four zero four eight three. We're happy to help any time. Change your water. Change your life.